hope the traffic wasn't that much when you Because I was worried. How did the traffic go through? You know, I was worried that when I was busy. I, I guess it's the old open. Yeah. The traffic now at the virtual area is so But I told you that this year, yeah, I'm yeah. seeing this fire yeah. mist here. I miss this. Oh, this yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. Yeah. It's been great. Will you marry what? me? Is that not beautiful? Will you marry me, please? Oh my god, <laughs> this is so beautiful. Um, why? Oh. Yeah, what are you doing? Why should she marry you? Excuse me, do I know you before? Listen, girl. Don't fall for this trap. You see this ring? This ring is a bait to capture you. And once you're captured, you lose your freedom. You know why? Marriage is bondage. So Excuse me. What is this nuisance? Do I know you before? I am Fiona, a woman who looks after the back of her fellow women. Gee, you're a sick fellow. What the heck is this? Listen, dear. A wedding engagement what? is a happy moment. A wedding ceremony is a blissful occasion. But what happens after then? Hurt, deceit, you sick oh, fellow. Come on, is there no security here? I'm all of that. So violent. Come on, come on. Listen, listen. Sick, can I you am take only this saving this the world from high divorce rates and everything that comes with it. Come on, where is the security here? We can all be happy without marriage. Security. Babes, don't fall for it. Don't Baby. fall for it. I'm Baby. telling you. So sorry, so sorry. Marriage is Baby. going Let's, to. Don't let her ruin this. What's don't let her ruin this moment. Please. What? What is this for good sake? What is Oh God! Damn! Look at this. Just take a look at this. Take a look at this. You are trending again! Well, it's called publicity, girl. You call this publicity? Everyone is insulting you! Uh-huh. Is it your first time? Wow. So you mean you are always comfortable with trending for the wrong reasons? Elena, what do you mean for the wrong reasons? Hello? I don't believe in marriage. And I'll always air my opinion whether it sits well with people or not. So tell me, now that you ruined someone's happy moment, how do you feel? Well, I like the way I'm feeling now. No, come use your reggae, spoil my blues and read him now. Oh, I like the way I'm feeling now. Oh my, get small thing where they stress me, but right now I'm chilling now. Oh, that's how I feel. Mommy! Trust me! Trust me! When I say invite, invite anybody, everybody, invite them. Haters, enemies, invite them. Let them come and see. Come and see, oh, come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Let him come and see what the Lord has done for you, mommy. Let him come and see. Mommy, you know me. I, I want this wedding to be on all social media. When I say all, I mean all. Mommy, I want to do money challenge on TikTok on my wedding day. Like, you know that when they do the video like this, the money will not let you. Trust me. Trust me. Yes, I've, invi I've invited her. Mommy, I've, I've sent out the invitation. Yes, I've sent it out already to them. All the big girls and all the big guys, the social, everybody. Even the ones that are online or offline. But I shall know that they have money. Yes. 
And I don't want to do naira. I want to do dollars now. So when it's on TikTok, like the thing with all any money when they get, they go spray. I go chop. Who they? You know your daughter. Who they? Hey, it's going to be. Oh. Hello. What manner of gallivanting and chariot is this? We talked about this countless times, didn't we? What is this? What, what, okay, what is it again? What is it? What is it again? What is it? I am not throwing a socialite party. Neither do I intend to feed the entire less privileged in Lagos. Do you understand? I'm not understanding. You don't want me to make money in my own wedding? I want to do a money challenge on TikTok, on Snapchat, on Instagram, on blogs. Can you keep quiet? Be... First of all, I am not a beggar. And secondly, more money means more people, more means, means more food, more souvenirs, more noise, more unwanted crowd. I do not want that. More money, more souvenir, more, more food. Um, is money a problem? No, no, you can, you can talk to me. Is money the problem? Talk to me. You can tell me. If money is, if, if you cannot afford, like, talk to me. You spend money to make money. You spend money to make money. I'm okay, get up. Okay, since you won't get up, let me bend so you can hear. I do not want a wedding to be all over the internet. I do not want my wedding in social media spaces. Okay? So I appeal to you, Miss Popular. Can we have our marriage in peace? I am going to hang out with the boys. <laughs> so I will not have hashtag. <laughs> How? How? What would they hashtag to? That Saturday, what would they be watching? What would they be watching? TV? Where would they see a Shebi style to sew? Where would they see a Shebi if not on my wedding day? Hi. And who are you? Come on. Girl, just say hello too, you know. You don't tell me what to say in my house. Oh. <laughs> so have we met before? No, we haven't. The more reason why you need to tell me who you are. Well, my name is John. John who? John. 
Elena's boyfriend. I am John Elena's boyfriend. You no, know, like John the Baptist. Excuse me. No, you excuse me. Oh, so you are the one deceiving my friend now? Really? You are the idiot, the non entity, the devil in human's body, the free mad. I saw you before. Who be this one? Oh, because I don't serve you hot breakfast. You want to transfer the aggression on me? I can feel your pains. And I can see it in your eyes that you are so bitter. Hmm. I pity the man that's going to marry you. And who gave you the idea that I want to be married to any man? I am Fiona. I don't need any man. I don't need a man to enslave me. I don't need a man to rule me. I don't need a man to lock me down. I don't want to be in bondage. I don't need any man. I don't need that. Rubbish. What nonsense. John. Elena, I'm only trying to help you. Don't help me! Fiona, do not help me! Do you ever think you're helping yourself? Why are you shouting? Why would I shout? Do you know how many men you have scared away from me? Look, I don't care what you believe about marriages, but I want to get married. I want to get married, Fiona! So stop this thing, you're doing not a put stand for my career, I beg you! John! This is one of my best deals I have ever seen since I started this business, man. <laughs> come on, come on, let's... let's... To stop there. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. 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 You're always you're always selling deals. Um it's not it's nothing new to me. <laughs> but come to think of it, Jess. Mm. Don't you think it's about time you see something else? Something else like. Like marriage. Come on, Jess. You're financially stable. You, you can handle it. Sam. Of all people, you, my friend, not just my friend, my best friend. You should know that marriage is not part of my plans. Wait. You like seem serious about this thing where you talk since so. Don't get married. Ah, oh, you bro. Ah, must I keep explaining this to you? Come on. Take a look at me now. Bro. Take a look at me. Six feet four inches tall guy. <laughs> Just see with the class, just see with the staff, just see with the cash, and just see for the ladies. And you expect me to just settle for one woman for the rest of my life? But I got taste from different plates now. I have to take from different plates, different delicacies. Yes, this is just, in fact, this is meant for everybody, and at the same time, nobody. <laughs> oh. If you ask me, I must tell you. That is a very reckless decision. You're not getting any younger, bro. Okay. Let me give you the drift. Say, um, my intention is to look for a surrogate mother who would carry my child for a price. And then I am good to go. A surrogate mother? Yes. Where do you intend to get a... Oh. <laughs> I might actually know someone who might be interested in this offer. Let me detail now. Yeah, this lady I met at a friend's party. We went out one or two times. But man, I got the japa for my life. This girl's mentality is sick. Oh, I think you both have something in common, so... That's something to worry for her, have you? <laughs> no one married now. <laughs> anyway, for now, let's just... Uh... Enjoy and savor the moments of this newly sealed business. And don't come and ruin this night for me, I beg. If not, cheers to more deals. The door is right close to you. You can use it behind you. <laughs> Hi. Look at how this girl's wedding is trending. Hi. God, when? God, when?
Why are you going to? You look like you are going out on a date. And that, my dear friend, is not happening. John hasn't been taking my calls. Elena, are we still on this John matter? Elena, are we still on this John matter? My mates are out here getting married. But I can't even keep one relationship because I am living in the same house with them. So gamist. Elena, please. You know what? Can we do this later? I have a meeting to attend. An urgent one at that, okay? So I'll do this later. All right? I need to start putting this girl in prayer so because she looks like it's like she's that enemy that the Bible always talks about. Look, at everyone is getting married. Everyone is getting married. Hi, Fiona. Anyways, you look good. Listen, can you just go straight to the point? Stop acting like we're friends. Well, are you not going to take another? You said you have a deal for me. Can we talk about that first? that you dislike the idea of marriage but I just thought you might not find the idea of having a child a bad one I have a friend that is exactly like you well maybe not exactly like you but he also dislikes the idea of marriage and he's um, <clears throat> he's looking for a surrogate mother Sam you called me here to be a surrogate mother for your friend what, what do you take me for Terms and conditions apply. Well, to hell with your terms and conditions, Sam. Now, what is all this? Why are you acting up? Huh? You need to calm down. See, it's not a big deal. Well, even if it's a big deal, it's not a bad idea. You know what, Sam? Lose my number. Millions of Naira are involved, Fiona. Millions of Naira. Millions of Naira? How much? Why don't you get to meet him first? Then you name your prize. Trust me, money is not a problem here. Fiona, don't tell me that you accepted such a ridiculous offer. Listen, you're getting this whole thing all wrong. There is nothing ridiculous about this offer. Oh, really? Do you know what surrogacy means? I know enough to know that you're overreacting. I mean, it is not a big deal. It's not a big deal? Not when a blank check is involved. Fiona. Are you about to let a blank check override your sense of reasoning? Okay, so tell me, is this, is this going to be a traditional surrogacy or a gestational surrogacy? Listen, I don't know what all that means. All I know is that I'll be making some cool cash off this deal, okay? If this isn't madness, then I don't know what it is. Christmas has just gotten to a whole new level, Fiona. You better have a rethink about this. God. <sighs> wow. Hello. Two point five million for a cake. 
Please tell me, are you buying the ingredients from, from heaven? I mean, I, I know I want a gigantic cake. I want a loud cake. I want it to choke them. But 2.5, how much is my fiance? How much is my fiance? What is this? What have you done? What is this? What do you mean by what is this? What is this? You're the one that brought this note. I found this note on my car when I went to the mall. Whoever... Whoever wrote this note knows you. They know you. What have you done? And so? Anybody can know me. You're the one that's always posting me on social media. You're the what? one who's always posting my pictures. Always. As a matter of fact, every morning that I wake up, it is to one mention, to one tag, and it is because of you. Even though, even though, even though, even though, I warned, even you. Though. I warned you, I warned you to keep our upcoming wedding away from the world, but you wouldn't listen. Do you now see the kind of bad energy you're bringing to us? Do you see? Are you blaming me for this? Oh, I blame myself. You're, bl you're blaming me? No, I should blame myself. You're blaming me? No, I should blame myself. You're blaming me? <laughs> me? Even the Bible says that a man that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. You can go ahead and post everything on social media, but you then be ready for the consequences. I know, please keep me out of it. Okay? Telling me it's because of me. Man of nonsense. Because of me. Who could this be? I know I have so many haters on Instagram. But who would go this far to stop my wedding from happening? The most anticipated wedding of the year. <laughs> it could be that bleached skin girl. That girl that calls herself Baby Doll. Whatever. This must be her handwriting. <laughs> ah! Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing can get to you, nothing can stop this. What my God cannot do, does not. God forbid. Jis, meet Fiona. Fiona, Jis. The proud guy who can't seem to fix a meeting outside his home. 
Nice to meet you too, Fiona. Can we just go straight to the reason I'm here? Only ideal to be a friend and not to be able to get a great deal. Look, can we just keep the friendly part and discuss the deal? Come on, guys. You guys need to take it easy on yourselves. I don't like her. Well, that makes it the both of us. Because I don't think I can have anything to do with an arrogant, proud, insolent, and superlicious person like you. Goodness. Come on, Fiona. Fiona, wait. It's you. you. You know, wait. Wait. Chief. You know, come on. Come on, please wait. Do you know how much of a big deal it is for me, Fiona, to come here? Do you know who I am? I do. I, I, oh, no, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't have sat there and watched that friend of yours talk to me in that manner. But he didn't even say much. Oh, he didn't? Oh, my goodness. You know what? Thank you for your offer, but I'll pass. I can't believe you, Sam. How can you bring such classless being to my house? I don't know. I don't understand you, Jess. Does it look like I was trying to match make both of you? You said you needed someone to carry your child, and I was just trying to help. Exactly my point. Of all living things to carry my child, it's a psycho you want to carry my child. So that I will give birth to a mini psycho. Really? Sam? Please find me someone else. What's the meaning of this? Are you paying me? You said you wanted to help. Well, now I come to think of it, I think I shouldn't have bothered. Like, how did I even take you serious? How, like, oh, Nami for God. How did I get involved in this your madness? <laughs> Sam Sam. <laughs> Hello? How can you be so stupid, Ken? Excuse me? You want to marry Romoke? Really? Is that the best you can do? And who might this be? <laughs> Let's just say someone who has your best interests at heart. I see you've been the one stalking me. And how did you get this number? We are talking about a terrible mistake you are about to make and you're here worried about how I got your contact? Now listen to me and listen to me very carefully. I don't know who you are and I do not care. But stay out of my business or else you will have yourself to blame. What nonsense. I'm inviting, they are not regular people. They're the elite of the elite. They're the socialites, like the people that run this country. People that are on Forbes lists. I want this Ash I want, I want the material, I want the Ashabi material to be like breathtaking. I want it to be loud. I need more design. Add more designs to your catalog. This is not working. It's not flowing. It's not in sync. You're not feeling my vision. You're not. Hey babe. 
Hey babes, I was, you know, trying out this color for you. I don't know if you want like Osblurred or Burgundy. Which one do you prefer? Well, it's okay. I know what you like. <laughs> anyway, so as I was saying, like they are influential people and they are coming to bring dollars, like not Naira. So you get what I mean? And said, so just add more designs, please. Okay? Like, you know those ones that have the lacy kind? Like patterns. Those are the kinds I want. You understand what I mean now? Flow with me. Be in my spirit. Let us shut down the town. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, I know you. Yeah, of course you do. Okay. I guess you're here to see Fiona. Yeah. She in? Of course, she's in. Please come. Uh, 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 come sit. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let me go get her for you. All right. Okay. Um, by the way, my name is Alina. Okay. Okay. I'll get her for you. See, guy. Yeah. Yeah, just behave yourself. You know how much you begged me to bring you here? Behave yourself. By the time I am done with this book, nobody I mean, nobody would want to ever get married again. Fiona? Yeah? Guess who is here? Do you remember that guy that came to Ivan's birthday? The one that came here once and never came back again? Sam? Yes! And he is here with one sweet looking guy. Oh my God! Jace. You know him? Wait, wait. Is it by any chance the guy you spoke about? This surrogacy guy? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Fiona? <laughs> you know, I was thinking, just in case you decide not to go through with it, uh, can you please tell him that you have a friend who can do it? <laughs> Let me go change, please. Wow. Why are you two here? Um, actually, my friend requested that I bring him here to um, play with you about what happened the last time. Are you still interested in the offer? You know what? I need you to leave my house. Leave my house. Fifty million naira. Eh? What? Fifty million naira. Did, did you did you say fifty million naira? Give me a call. If you change your mind. But mind you, there are many other options. CEO JK Agro Limited. Ah, you have to call him. You must call him. This is big. Ah, 
you have to call him. Imagine to carry Bele for billionaire. Hi! Lifetime investment. You're so lucky. Hi! Wow! 15 million. Hello. It's Fiona. I think I'm taking the deal. You might want to go through the terms and conditions again. I know what he says. Your sperm, my egg. But the baby is yours. You're going to take care of the expenses till the baby is a year old and then you take the baby away from me. There will be no personal relationship between us. And that is very sure. My only gain in all of this is the money. 50% before the deed and 50% after the deed is done. And um, here is a check and some cash. I'll forward the details of the hospital appointments later. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. I 
Cheers! Cheers! Thank you. <laughs> I had an awesome time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Call you later. Yes, yeah, we'll see. Ah, my God. <laughs> Open the car. What is this? Open the car. What is this? What is this? What is what? Babe, babe, honestly, I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know. You don't know what this is? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, this is a picture of you with an older man. And it looks like you're having an affair and you're telling me you don't know what this is. I don't know. Somebody's trying to set me up. Set you up? Somebody's trying, no. Somebody's after me. They are after me. They are after me. Look at it. He's, he's looking photoshopped. Romo, okay, so you do sugar daddies. They photo. They, I need photo. I don't do sugar daddies anymore. I used to before I met you. Oh, so you know what this was? Like it's it's it's, it's behind me. It's, it's in the past. Babe, let me, babe, let me explain. Let me, let me explain. Babe, babe. Honestly, babe, let me, let me explain. Let me see, honestly, this was before I met you. So, Jesus. Babe, let me explain. Babe, this was. Babe, please, babe. Please, let me talk to you. Babe, 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 Jesus. Babe, wait, babe, please, wait. Wait, now, babe, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me, let me show you well. Let me show you, babe, see. Babe, please, Jesus. You are living in my house today. Ken, please, can I plead with you? Ken, please, Ken, please, Ken, please, please, please. What do you want to possibly explain? Ken, huh? please, Ken, that please. you were having an affair Jesus. with a man who was old enough to be your father? Jesus. Ken, please, 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 let me explain. Please. So, tell me. So, so what? So what? Oh. I used it to take care of my single mother right from the very beginning. That was all you could do? Huh? That was all you could do? You can't judge me. Judge me. Look. I don't care. Okay? All I know is that there is no way that I am getting married to a woman who has been having an affair with old men. Just imagine I take you out for a business meeting to meet a potential client and boom, he happens to be your ex-sugar daddy. Leave my house. Am I the first person to sleep with a sugar daddy? Am I the first? I am not even going to be the last. I am not even going to be the last. Okay, listen to me. If you think because of this thing, that just happened, I'm going to let this wedding not hold. I'm going to let this marriage crumble. You don't know me. You don't know me. Are you threatening me? You don't know me. Are you threatening me? Huh? This wedding will hold. We are going to be together. This marriage will hold. You don't know who you're joking with. Just get ready to face my wrath. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? Excuse me, let me see who's at the door, please. Are you? Women are all the same. Liars. Come in.
can't believe I've been lied to. I can't believe I've been lied to. You, you manipulating liar, you will leave my house this minute. I will never settle for that remnant of an oath. Stay calm. Ken. Ken. Oh, you have finished me. No. You have finished me. You have disgraced me. Ah! You should have told me. You should have told me. Like, even if, even if you had mistakenly said it to me, you should have told me. You should have said it to me. You should have said it to me. Like, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are Please, you? Ruben, just try and stay. Hey! I wanted to put it all behind me. Okay. Do you think that women are the only victims of domestic abuse? Do you think women are only victims of domestic violence? Do you think women are the only people Going through hell in marriages? I am not proud to say this. I was a victim here. I made a mistake. I married the worst woman on earth. Ken! Ken! Didn't you hear me calling you? Felicia, what is it? Uh, what is it? Do, 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 do. What do you mean by what is it? What do you mean by what is it? Just for me to relax upstairs. And the only thing I started seeing was dead beats, a lot, all over my phone. Okay, all right, fine. I went out today. I saw some things that I wanted to buy for the house and I bought them. You bought them. See how he's just saying it. You need my permission before you do anything in that account. Did you inform me before doing that? Did you? Felicia, mind you, it is a joint account, okay? I don't need any permission from you to take money from there. You don't need permission from me. Eh? Okay. Let me, let me stop, remind stop. you. Get up. Now, let me remind you. The larger percentage in the money in that account is mine. It is my own. Do you get me now? I will not sit back and watch you squander my money, my hard-earned money. Squander what money? My money, Ken. My money. I work for this money. You I shall work let for me go. And if I do not let you go, if I do not let you go, Ken, what will you do? What will you do? Felicia, you, you realize I have the man in this house. Hey, 
See, man, you man, man of which house? The last time I checked, hmm? now person where they break money, the person who makes the most money, the person who makes more money and provides for the family is the head. I, I provide for you. I'm the one who caters for you. And what is that supposed to mean? I feed you now. What are you saying? What are you saying? You are still asking me what that means. Oh, now let me tell you what it means. As far as I am concerned, I, Felicia, let me let it sink in your head. I, Felicia, I am the head of this house. Did you hear me? Did you hear me, Ken? In case you are forgotten. Oh, get away, idiot. The only reason why I didn't tell you was because I thought that that part of my life was over. I thought it was done. I, I wanted to move on. I, I didn't want my past relationship affecting my present. Felicia, there's no food in this house. And why is the kitchen messed up? And who said the kitchen is gender-based? What is that even supposed to mean? It simply means that if there is no dinner, fix yourself one, Ken. What are you even saying? That I should cook? Oh, come on, Ken. You do not expect me to work this hard and make so much money and still expect me to work my ass out to feed your mouth. It is not happening. Come on, Ken. It is not. You realize that I'm your husband. If, if not for anything, you're supposed to respect me. Respect you? Respect my foot, Ken. You do not deserve any respect from me. Regardless of how things are now, you seem to have forgotten that I picked you up from the gutter. Who did you pick from the gutter? Who? Who did you pick up from the gutter? Now, let me tell you this. Let this be the last time you make such statements about me, Ken. Because it is no longer about where we are coming from. It is about where we are now. Take a look at me and take a look at yourself. Don't say that about me again. Poverty, st st stinking man. You're telling me about gutter. What do you have? Nonsense. Get on with it. Don't disturb me.
Who is Lara? Answer me. Who is Lara? Who is Lara? Tell me now. I need to know, Ken. Who the hell is Lara? Lara. Okay, just calm down. Put that thing down. Just put it down. Okay. I need to know who Lara is right now. Lara is a friend's sister and I am helping her get a job. So, you are now the one who goes about getting jobs for your friend's sister. Stop doing this. Stop. Is that it? It's not what you think. It's it not is not stop. what I think. It is not what I think. It's not what you think. I'm not cheating on you. You are not cheating on I me, swear. Ken. You are not cheating on me, Drop Ken. And you expect me to believe in that bullshit. Felicia, it's not what you think. No. How dare stop. you? Stop. How dare you cheat on me, Felicia, Ken? No. How dare you? <laughs> you are dead. I'll kill you today. You are dead! You will die today! You! You will die today! Ah! You will die ah! Yes! Ah! Very good for you! Ah! Very, good. Ah! Very good for you! Very good for you! Where did you think you were running to? Eh? Where did you think you were running to? You think you can run away from me, Felicia? You have got God, oh! You have got God! You are cheating on a homie, Felicia! Don't you know cheating on me is like sending invitation to death, eh? Ken, you don't know. I see you stop, want to die. Stop, stop, stop what? Stop what? Stop now. Look, look. It, it's, it's just an innocent emoji now. Just, eh. An innocent emoji. <sighs> an innocent emoji, Ken. And you saved her name with a special emoji. Abby? <laughs> See, by the time I am through with you. I told you the truth. What, what do you want me to say again? What? What truth? What truth? Then why do you have her name saved? With, with with a special emoji on your phone. Tell me. You tell me. It's just an harmless emoji. Armless emoji. It's just an harmless emoji. That harmless just... emoji will take you to harmless heaven. <sighs> Trust me. Because by the time I am through with you, today, 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 you go go meet Baba God. If you do not go to heaven today, my name is not Felicia. My name is not Felicia. When Baba God now asks you, what are you doing here? Oh, you will tell him. You will tell him, Baba God, the only assignment of marriage you gave me to do, I failed it. Felicia, you're hurting me. Stop. 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 Look who is back home. After running away for days. I thought you would not come back to this house. Welcome home. Welcome home. See who is back home after running for days. What do I call you? Prodigal son? Or the lost was found as well? Welcome. <laughs> these are the these are divorce papers. Those papers. I am tired of being in this toxic relationship or marriage, whatever it is with you. I'm tired. And do I look like I am enjoying this thing called marriage with you? Do I look like I am enjoying it? Do I look like I am not tired? This was long expected, Ken. Just sign them. I'll be back later. You know, uh, before then, just pack your things, okay? Uh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There is no need for you to go and come back. Let's do the signing now, and we do the packing later. I beg. I cannot see. Show me where I am to sign. Hurry up. Show me. Hurry up now, why are you shaking? Answer me, I beg. Nonsense. I think I want to. I think I want to stay in this nonsense thing with you. I am done. I've been done, done, done. This was long expected. Nonsense. You can fix it up yourself. Take. 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 What else? I don't want you to think I want to stay in this marriage. 
Nonsense. You should have told me. You should have told me. Hmm? The reason I didn't tell you was because I, I I wanted a chapter of my life to be over so bad. I didn't want my past relationship affecting my present. And, and, and you know society, nobody's going to take my side. I, I didn't want you thinking I was the problem. It's okay. Don't worry. Mm, don't worry. Okay? You're in a relationship with a woman who sees you for a king that you are. Okay? Okay? So, say that you're a king. Say that I am a king. Hmm? I am a king. Come here. Come here. I love you. I love you so much. So what are you saying, Fiona? You are saying that there's no other woman in the picture. There's no woman at all in the picture. My dear, exactly what I said. So, how does he plan to achieve this? I felt like there was a wife or a woman he wanted to use her egg for the fertilization process. Well, apparently he paid me 50 million naira to use my eggs and to also carry the baby. So that means the, the child is also yours. Biologically, yes, but legally, no. Bullshit! You can't accept that. You just can't accept it, Fiona. Look, it's too late, sis. As you know, I'm just coming back from the hospital where the first process has been undergone. Fiona, how can you let money block your sense of reasoning this way? <laughs> oh, really? I thought you were the one popping champagne with me the other day. Well, that was because I did not know the terms. I, I thought there was a woman or wife somewhere. See, if you're not, this cannot have a good ending. There is nothing to worry about, Elena. It is not a big deal. How can you say this is not a big deal? See, I just hope that whatsoever you did does not lead to pregnancy. Because you have to go back and undo it. You have to back out immediately. What's going on in this country? Everyone is just going crazy. You are going crazy. Hey, good. Ha. What is wrong with this one? Why is she overreacting? We are talking about 50 million naira and she's ranting about some eggs. What am I doing with the eggs, Seth? Maybe I should start a surrogacy business. Fiona Surrogacy Company. Nice ring to it. <laughs> oh, what a great catch. Um, Fiona. Yeah. I know that I haven't said this to you before, but I'm going to say it regardless. Okay. I really appreciate you for carrying my child. Thank you. You're paying me, so why thank me? Okay. Take care of yourself. Please no stress. Come on, can you just stop acting nice? It doesn't fit you. But you're carrying my child. Well, then let me do my job, okay? Okay. Take care. All
I really need to attend that fashion show with you. Oh. I'll get that. I'm coming. Hi. Yes, she is. Yes. How are you doing? I actually went shopping and I decided to get you some things. You really do not need to do this, you know, right? You don't have to read meaning into it. I am only doing this for my child. Well, I remember the agreement stating that we do not need to have any kind of personal relationship. <sighs> I remember. But like I said earlier, <coughs> I am only doing this for my child. What do you think? That I am trying to get close to you? <laughs> now come on, it. Wake up. I don't need that. Well, the same way I don't need you doing any kind of shopping for me. My pregnancy is not even obvious yet. I am strong enough to take care of myself and you paid me well enough to do so. Oh, sorry. I would take this for her. And... Do you mind sitting, please? No. Thank you. Okay. I am about leaving anyway. Alright, that's fine. Just make sure you come by more often. I'll try. Okay. Bye-bye. What was that? Well, I should be asking you what that was. Don't tell me you are still putting up with this, your feminist attitude. Even after Belly don't enter. <laughs> My dear friend, I will give you an unpaid information. As long as that baby is in your womb, you'll be seeing that guy around a lot. So you better get used to it. I can see that you aren't backing down. Who is this? I want you against Ken. That your stupid self is busy getting a wedding dress. I shouldn't have asked. Oh, so it's you. You're a very dangerous and violent woman. I'm sure you have your ways of getting my numbers. So why bother ask? I know who you are. You are Ken's ex-bitter wife. And he has told me everything there is to know about you. Thank God Ken has divorced you. Thank God. <laughs> divorced? Ken divorced who? Come on, Felicia. Come on. I am not Felicia. Felicia is dead. What? Listen. You have been lied to. A divorce did not happen between them and Ken is responsible. So who are you? Who are you then? You don't need to know who I am. You need to know what your future with Ken would look like. And I'll be sending you videos that will give you an insight on that. Hello? 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 Felicia? She's not Felicia. Hello?
Can you hear me? Mommy, I'm coming home. I'm coming home right now. Mommy, I am coming home right now. Mommy, please, I don't know how we are going to do it, but this wedding, we need to cancel it. We need to cancel everything. Mommy, I'm coming to you. When I come out, explain it. I will tell you about everything. When I come out, explain everything to you, please. Please. 
me, please, can you calm down? Any plans you're making, any calls you're making, anything, just consider the wedding called off. So don't don't send out any IV. Don't. Oh, please. Can, yes, mommy, it's better to be embarrassed, to be humiliated, to be all these things you're saying than for me to be dead. You don't want me to die, do you? I will explain everything when I come. And when I come, I'll explain everything to you. All right, bye-bye. I... Where are you coming from? Pardon? I've been sitting here like forever waiting. Where have you been? Are you alright? Where are you coming from dressed like someone on a mission? And who are you to question me? Are you forgetting so soon who I am? How about you sit your ass down at home and you stop stressing my child that I paid you to carry? Well, maybe you should carry this child yourself. Since somewhere in your head, you're beginning to think that you can dictate to me what to do. Who the hell do you think you are? Oh, because you think you paid me, you can control me. Do I look like a woman who can be controlled by a man? You should have asked about me before getting involved with me. Now you listen to me. I hate to say this, but I am a misogamist. Not a born one, but there is a reason I hate marriage. And this is it. Once a woman commits to you, you become so overwhelmed with power that you feel she's subjected to you. You take advantage of her tenderness, then you use your physical power or strength, which you're supposed to use to protect her, to intimidate her. Now tell me why would I want to be subjected to such? So if you think that you can Bring that ridiculous power of yours just because of your child? You better think again because you got it all wrong. Maybe all the time. It's fine. I. I'll just take my leave. That'll be better. To be honest, I did not find it funny. It's funny that you seem surprised. Clearly, Fiona is a combination of a feminist and a misogamist. That girl hates men. But why? Do I know? I really want to know why. Oh, well, the next time you see her, you should ask her. Why not? Because... I am interested to know why she's made that way. <laughs> yes. Are you interested in knowing why she is that way? Or you are interested in her? Oh, oh, come on, Sam. You should know me better than that. <laughs> well, I will advise you keep your relationship with her formal. That girl is deep. Trust me, you don't want to go there. Just keep it formal. Well, I never asked you. <laughs> well, don't say I did not want you. Moving on. 
Don't say I did not warn you. Moving on. Uh, Shadow said, no one. That girl is a no-go area. Let's just say Jesse likes to trespass. As long as you don't get burnt. Hey, sir, where are you done? Shut my door. Hey, hey, hey. A minute, please. Wait. Is this how you intend showing up at my doorstep every second until this contract is done? Well, I think we need to revisit the lawyers then. I understand that you're upset with me over something beyond my knowledge. But still, I got you flowers to show you how sorry I am. Please take it. It's just flowers and nothing more. Goodbye. Hey, hey. Hey, Fiona, please. At least, can we get to have lunch tomorrow? At least, I just want to use the opportunity to get to know basic things about you. Which I think it's just necessary. Well, I don't think it's necessary. Oh, please do not say no. Please. Okay, fine. Lunch it is then. <laughs> Such a good girl. <laughs> I'll manage. Feed <sighs> me not. Fiona, you're going on a date. Babes, listen. Don't put it that way, okay? I am only going on a civilized date to get to know the father of the child I'm carrying. Mmm. Hmm. Well, now say it takes that, Sha. Mmm. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? It's about to go down. Bye bye. <laughs> Sha, be careful, love, before you fall in love. You know, that Jace guy is very fine. Yeah. Fiona is going on a date.
<laughs> well, I hope you're enjoying your meal. I didn't really want to stress you, but you insisted on making me this delicacy. Do I have any other option? <laughs> well, I owe you one after all. She's such a good cook after all. <laughs> the book should truly not be judged by its cover. I know, right? Yeah. Oh. No, you know what? Feel free. Go ahead and pick up your call. Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing important. That's some random girl. Mm hmm So how many random girls do you have? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... <clears throat> The thing is, just like you, I am not interested in marriage. Yeah. I mean, there's this fear of commitment in me, of course, which was what led to this. Oh. Yeah. I see. <laughs> so, tell me, Fiona, mm -hmm. why do you detest marriage so much? I mean, there must be something deep about your mentality and perception of marriage. Um, can we have this conversation after our meal? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Mm. Oh, God. Oh. oh, wow. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. Same here. Come and join us. Oh, no. Enjoy. I hope I didn't say something wrong. Oh, no, no. It's, it's fine. So a few years ago, my sister got pregnant for a man she was dating and my, my parents forced her to get married to him so as not to bring shame onto our family. My sister would not say much about her marriage, not to anyone. But little did we know that she was going through so much hell with this man. She didn't tell a soul a thing. She would just write her experiences in this diary and make videos about them. She gave me this diary and the videos before she took her last breath. You lost her? <sighs> Feel free to go through the diary. Think you're doing? Ken, oh, I'm trying to rest. I'm tired. You're trying to relax. Oh. Huh? Yes, now. 
that you were carrying trucks in the market or what? Telling me you're trying to relax. You haven't fixed me something to eat and you're relaxing? You're trying to rest? Do you want to rest in peace? Uh -uh. Do you wish death upon the mother of your child? Uh, I didn't do this by myself, oh, Ken. Uh, it, it is not that deep. Oh, you think it's not that deep? Come on now. Come on, please. Look at my condition. Have you forgotten I am carrying our child? Baby, there is nothing wrong if you fix us something to eat. I should fix you something to eat. Huh? Eat that! <laughs> Eat that! <laughs> Who raised you? Huh? Who raised you? You see, back in the day, a man would not even step his feet in the kitchen to do anything, and you're asking me to cook for you. Huh? In case you don't know, I am the God that you see right now, and you should bow down and worship me. Now get your lazy ass into the kitchen and fix me something to eat. I said, get your Felicia! Felicia, where's my breakfast?
wonder why. After all, you're no more pregnant. So I wonder what your flimsy excuse is. Ben, I do not deserve all these things you have meant to me. I do not deserve it, though. I do not. You know, we, I just lost our child. I am in grief. I am in grief, Ken. This is not what you should be doing. No. You shouldn't be doing this to me. This is so unfair. <laughs> So what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be consoling you or lying to you? Or should I be consoling you? Do you want me to lie to you that you are not responsible for the death of that thing you call child? <laughs> Why are you saying this to me, Ken? This is so unfair. Did I kill my child? As if it is not your fault, Ken. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. Or else you will join that child in heaven. Am I clear? I said, am I clear? No, 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 this is too much. I can't continue reading this. This narration is too scary. Your sister must have gone through hell. She went through a whole lot more. One night, her husband threw her out of the house simply because she refused him sex. Really? It was so late into the night. She was all out there on her own, looking for somewhere to sleep. But unfortunately for her, she she came across a group of arm robbers operating that night and just because she saw their faces, she was shot. And my sister was bedridden in the hospital for weeks. Until she finally died. Before she died, her last words to me were, marriage is hell. I understand that your sister went through hell. But you shouldn't judge marriage based on one person's experience of it. There are also beautiful marriages. So I should take the risk. I'm just saying that you're not your sister. And you shouldn't let your sister's experience deprive you of the beauty of life. Love is beautiful. And marriage? <sighs> marriage is blissful, Fiona. Let's go. Let's go. 
go. Every single time. Every single time. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. Guess who is trending again? Who? You, Fiona. Ugh. What is it this time? <laughs> Popular misogamist found with her boo and her pregnant uh, and her baby bump shopping for baby items. Madam Sabi, Kabe. Fiona? Yes. What? What is going on with you? You really don't care that people might think that you have a man in your life. And is that a bad thing? What's going on with you? Elena. Maybe I've been hard on myself all this while. And maybe I should try something different for the first time in my life. You and Chase have been pretty close this past few months. Is there something going on between you both that I don't know about? Something aside this whole contract thingy? <laughs> we just too many questions. Maybe some of us might not. Anyway, we're just friends. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> just friends. Okay. <laughs> just friends. Mm. So you mean to tell me that you cut off your numerous girlfriend for a just friend? You're <laughs> eh? <laughs> not serious. Uh, let's just say that Jesse is now becoming or is trying to become a responsible father to his unborn child. <laughs> You know, I'm doing this for the baby. Its parents need to be cordial, you know. So that's it? Yeah, that's it. And we signed a contract and we agreed to no such relationship. It's just so you never did catch feelings. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Anyway, I created the terms and conditions. So why can't I break the rules? Besides, I've been able to take Fiona out of her shell this past few months. Her perception about marriage remains. It's never changed. I just don't want to ruin or destroy the friendship you already have going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you never know. Take the risk. Yeah. Take your chance, bro. I think you should take your chance. You think I should confess my feelings to him? Before uncle. <laughs> you have to. The girls these days are even going as far as proposing to men. Talk more of just ordinary confession. Uh-uh. Nah. Yeah. You know I cannot do that now. Fiona cannot. Never. Mm. Dude, I can't do that now. Come on. Mm. I cannot do that. You think I should? Yeah, of course. Why not? What are you trying to do? Uh, taking my chance now. <laughs> <laughs> Something you have done finished. <laughs> it's Chase. He wants us to go out on a date. Look at the way you're even smiling. Well, you, you both have been going on dates. Since back before now, so well, you know what? Now. I have a good feeling about this one. Great, then let's get you into something very sexy. What sexy thing? Come. This is my big tummy. Uh. Wait, no, stand up. Ah. There's a uh, uh, ah, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> look how beautiful you look. And oh, really, God. look, you are yabbing me. You're using style to yab. Me. Let's go. Let's I go. know. Let's go. Let me get you into something sex. Uh. <laughs> hey, see who's rocking a pregnancy, Bob. 
<laughs> uh, baby boom, brother. <laughs> well, pregnant, but still maintaining beauty. I know, right? Come on, come on, come on, let me help you. Hey. Yo. Shut up. Melanie. Sugar pie pie. Stop it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I really had a great time today. So thank you very much. You're welcome. But I'm really tired and I need to get home. So I don't know if you can just kindly drop me off. Um, yeah, but a minute. So, um, I want to know how it would have turned out at the lounge. And um, I didn't get the nerve to do this. I know it's a big deal to you. So I decided to take the risk. Because it is worth it. Fiona, please might I ask that we both parents a unborn child together. Not just as parents, but as a couple. I understand you have this massive wall around your heart. But please, let down your guard and bring down your wall for me. I promise you won't regret it. Please. You silly boy, do you know how long I have waited for this? Is that a yes? Well, let's try it out. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. So you will help me out. <laughs> yeah. To hell to that damn contract. <laughs> Who needs a contract after all? Jay. Yes, Fiona. I mean, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you've made me realize that there is so much more to relationships than what I have been used to all these years. I cannot believe <laughs> I was going to write a book against marriage. You don't mean it. That bad? Just too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you look good on that baby before? I'm here and kiss me. Of course. <laughs> 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 oh, 